So as the dumpster fire that was 2016 mercifully comes to an end, 2017 is going to bring us a lot of awesome Android things. And in that vein, I've got five predictions for Android for 2017. I've got kind of a bonus prediction too, so I guess we could say six, but five, five sounds better to me. So five plus one predictions for you. This video that I did last year, I was pretty accurate, it was about 60%, and I feel really confident for this year. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Coming in in May at Google I.O., we'll obviously see Android 8.0 announced. And if you're trying to do the alphabet in your math, begins with an O, it's gonna be Android 8.0 Oreo, or it might also be Android 8.0 Orange Chocolate Candy. But I'm gonna bet that Google, or Alphabet, Android, whatever you wanna call them, is gonna work out a licensing deal, get that Oreo name attached to Android 8.0. I can already, already see the statue sitting out on the campus. So it's gonna be a lot of smaller changes, uh, improving on what we saw with NuGet, but there are gonna be some flagship things. We are finally going to see full backup and restore across Android. And I've been saying this one for, for a while. This is like my version of wireless charging for iPhones. It's gonna happen. If I say it every year, one year, I'm going to be right. This is also the year though that Google tightens restrictions on what OEMs can do with Android and still get access to Google Play services. Now certainly it's open source, they can do whatever they want, but if they wanna have access to Google Play, at least out of the box, they have to sort of play nicely. I think this is a year that we sort of see those restrictions tightened to make sure you have a more consistent experience throughout your Android devices. Fingers crossed. The next prediction, obviously we're gonna see new pixels. It's gonna be the Pixel 2, but it's not gonna be called that Pixel Prime. Mark that down by the domain, Pixel Prime and the Pixel XL. These specs should be identical, save for battery size. Screen size is gonna be the same as the Pixel and the Pixel XL at five and 5.5 inches, but the Prime is gonna bring QHD standard. We're gonna see six gigs of RAM standard. Of course, Android 8.0 out of the box with those awesome backup and restore features. Uh, I don't know about camera megapixel edge. I haven't heard any grumbling, so I'm just gonna say, 20, but I mean, really, I just made that. I just made that up. Better cameras uh, are what we are going to have uh, with the Pixel Prime and Pixel Prime XL. But don't look for that until like way towards the end of 2017. You're still good with your Pixel and your Pixel XL. And next, the return of Nexit. No, it's not gonna happen. It's dead. Sorry, that was mean. I just, I just wanted to do that one time. Hashtag John's a jerk. Next, this is one I whiffed on last year. I said the return of Google Glass. This year I'm saying Google's gonna return to augmented reality in a big way. I don't know what that way is going to be. Perhaps it might be a new version of Glass. We've seen a few patents float around for more, let's say, stylish wearables. Don't know what Google's going to do, but there's been a lot of grumblings. They've been staffing up their augmented reality department. So I think you're gonna see a huge, huge, huge push towards augmented reality from Android. Next, you've probably been wondering, what the heck's going on with Android tablets? It seems like not, not much is really doing, at least new ones are coming out. I think the Pixel C is gonna get a successor. I think we're finally going to see the merger, the marriage of Chrome OS and Android. Now Google's talked about it. We've got Android apps on Chrome OS computers, but I think this is the time we, we see that them really just just get together. And I don't know if it's going to be maybe what we saw with Honeycomb, a special OS just for tablets, or if it's gonna somehow be built into Android 8.0, where sort of Chrome OS starts to go away. But Google's gonna make a bigger push for tablets, and they're going to do it by sticking with that Pixel line. Have you noticed something weird happening with Android Wear? Just like tablets, not really seeing much in the way of Android Wear. We saw the new OS announced Google I.O. back in May, but it hasn't come out yet. We've seen Lenovo say we're not gonna see a sequel to the Moto 360. Samsung's pushing out their own Tizen watches, but nothing in the way of Android Wear. And I think that's because manufacturers know something that I'm gonna tell you. Pixel Wear, it's happening. Google's gonna pixel up all of their things, and we're going to see a flagship Pixel-branded wearable watch from Google. Just, just write that down. And last, that plus one that I mentioned, Google Home's gonna get way smarter. Consider what you have right now is like early beta. If you ask it to remind you to do something, it can't do it. You ask it to send a text message to your contact, it can't do it. Send directions to your phone, there's a huge list of things it can't do yet. And in fact, if you ask it, it's gonna say, I can't do that yet. 
we're going to see Google Home really be that hub that Google's promised it to be. Third-party integration galore. It's going to be awesome. If you're debating whether or not you want to go Amazon Echo or Google Home, you might want to give Google Home a second look in 2017. So those are my really six predictions uh, for Android next year. What do you guys think? Are you excited about the Pixel Prime? I think that's the one that I'm, I'm most jazzed about. Leave the comments down below and let us know. Thumbs up this video because you, sir and madam, are a good person. Be sure to turn on notifications so you know when new video is coming up. Until next time, John Ranch from Techno Buffalo. Talk to you guys next video. So now that you know what's coming from Google, maybe you want to prepare your current Pixel for the Pixel Prime and take some of the Science Channel shows with you. You can do that now with Morgan Freeman's sweet voice in Through the Wormhole. If you want to download the app, we'll link to it down below.